Your Isolation Nation, Lynn here. We're gonna do a full body workout today, and I mean full body workout, including abs at the end. Uh, I'm not gonna to waste too much time on talking about the fitness equipment you see behind me, but I did check on Amazon because things are kind of flying off the shelves, and all of this is available. If you were to get all of that, it would come out to about $189. So again, I mean, being that this is the new normal and it looks like most of us are gonna be working out from home, which is important, you gotta stay in shape, you gotta stay healthy, boost the immune system, alleviate stress, it might be worthwhile to invest in some of this equipment. Body weight does it too though, so much cheaper than that. So 169 if you were to get just one of the kettlebells, two of the kettlebells, uh, 189. The free weights, super expensive, and there's not a lot of them left. So the band, a lot less expensive. There is a bunch of different options. So uh, that is what I kind of included in that price. So the free weights weren't included in that. And again, this has nothing to do with me selling anything, just making recommendations on different home equipment that you could buy so you can get a good workout. All right, let's get started on our workout, okay? So we got a full body workout, 40 seconds for each exercise, 10 seconds rest in the middle, and eight exercises for each round. So let's get going. Remember, modify, modify. So our warm up is just gonna be some light movement to get us started, right? So you can kind of jog around in a circle, do some heel raises. There you go, how's everybody doing? A little chilly out today. I was hoping to do a TRX rep trainer video. So hopefully if tomorrow's nice, that's what I'll be doing. And in my opinion, pretty much that's the only equipment you need is a rip trainer and a TRX suspension trainer. A couple of little bands and things like that. And you can get really, really good effective workouts. Let's take it into a jumping jack. So remember, you can always modify. If you don't like impact, you're gonna do tap outs. Good, and scissors. Yeah, I'm still a little chilly, so got my jacket on, but I'm sure that's gonna come off as we get going. Then I will put on some music and a timer. I like the Tabata timer, and I'll try to put that down in the links below too, because it's really easy to use, and you can kind of just manipulate it any way you want and play music over it. So you still hear the beep, but you don't have to listen to just the beep or just my voice. There's music in the back. All right, take your legs nice and wide, hinge back at the hips, and let's just do a couple of side side lunges. Hoping to post some more videos today, being that it's rainy, I might as well. So keep checking back in for Pilates, kickboxing, and anything else that you want to suggest. There we go, let's hold it there. Perfect, bring it over to the other side. And turn it onto an angle, good. Press that back heel down. And then bend that back knee, kind of tuck it in, get a nice little stretch out of that hip flexor. Bring those arms all the way forward. And open it back, turn it over toward the other side. Actually hinge back, right? We wanna get that nice stretch. And again, turn it on that angle, press that back heel down. Kind of a short warm up. I ran through this already, so I'm warmed up. But if you need more of a warm up, please take your time hit pause and complete a complete warm up so you know you're ready to go when you go, okay? Press those arms out. All right, and bring it up. So as I said, if you wanna do a couple of other stretches, anything that feels tight, that's what you should be doing at the moment. And we're gonna get started with our first round. Eight exercises, there's my Tabata timer. Looks like that. Yep, love it, one of the best ones I ever got. I use it all the time. So if I was to start it. Starting the session. Here we go. I'm gonna put some music on in the background. And I said, that's the kind of the coolest thing about it is I could do that. Our first exercise is speed squats. But if you wanna do jump squats, go for it. Just remember, it's the beginning of the workout. So you wanna kind of take it easy and build into that. Let's go. So we got speed squats, right? 
So speed squats, heavy on those heels, light on those toes. And if you want, you can add in jump squats. Just make sure you're landing with nice soft knees.
drive those knees in. Try to stay flat in the plank and not pop up this way. Those are tough, right? The last two moves are on the floor. So we got dips. You could always do tricep kickbacks in place of the dips. But if you do the dips, have your fingertips facing forward. And you just want to bend your elbows. And the most important part is that full extension at the top. And if that's super easy, and you want to amp it up by getting some abdominal work in there, you're pushing up. You have to do that and make sure that you get that full extension because that's the only way you can get the stability to reach for the sneaker. There you go. Just make sure you're nice and stable in the shoulders. If you have any shoulder issues, I definitely don't recommend any one arm movements. Shake it out. We got push ups. A lot of people don't like to do that full push up. They sink in the middle or they go up in the middle. If that's the case, you're going to go on the front of your thighs and your push ups are here. And if you can, pop it up. Full range of motion. I've been in the gym doing my workouts and I already feel it. You know, you start to kind of feel like it's a little bit harder than maybe it should be. Could be sleep, could be stress. Doesn't matter, right? Just make adjustments on the weights that you use. Stay safe and don't really worry about the reps or the weights or keeping up with every single one that I'm doing. Go at your own pace.